I want to talk about trading with the major trend today. That's a trend following system um, we've been using for many years. And it kind of gives you the big picture of a stock and its uh, performance. And we, we like to go back 20 years with, with all our charts. And we like to identify stocks that, um, that trade really well over the years. Uh, they, they have very low volatility, um, uh, very few sell signals, very few whipsaw trades. And uh, they, they still manage to outperform almost all market sectors and all stocks. So those are the stocks we like to focus on because they're less risk and uh, there's less chance of getting stopped out of these stocks, uh, whether we buy the call option on the stock or the stock itself. So um, this is a great way to uh, profit with uh, lower risk. So today we're going to look at the uh, major trend system and we're going to identify stocks that have outperformed the major averages uh, with less volatility. And we're going to look at a few strategies uh, that we use the uh, major trend system to identify trades for these strategies. So we'll look at a dividend strategy, uh, a married put strategy, and an option strategy. And I'd be glad to have uh, a Q&A session at the end. So um, the, the goal of the major trend system is to uh, identify stocks or ETFs with the best long-term performance and price patterns. And I'll show you what we mean by price patterns here in a, in a minute. And then we use a short-term indicator to help time our entry into a trade, whether it's a stock trade or an option trade, we have a short-term indicator uh, that we use to get a low risk entry. So we, the major trend system is a long term system. Um, and we like to look at the long term trend of the stock, but then when we actually enter the trade, we like to use this short term indicator to help us time our uh, entry. So when we use the major trend system to identify the price trend of the stock, that allows us to trade with the trend instead of trying to predict the future price movement of a stock. So we're trend followers. Uh, we believe in following a system rather than making um, emotional decisions. And we simply uh, follow the trend. And the major trend system uses the one month price of a stock in relation to its 20 month exponential moving average. And that's an excellent way to identify the long-term major trend of a stock. And uh, th these indicators are easy to um, download off the internet. And the system itself is pretty simple. If um, the one month price of a stock is above the 20 month uh, EMA, then a bullish trend is indicated and if the one month price of a stock is below the 20 month EMA, a bearish trend is indicated. So pretty, pretty simple stuff. Now we only look, when we're uh, looking at the major trend system, we only look at the uh, last trading day of the month. So if the last trading day of the month is um, March 31st, then we only look at the uh, price on that day. And we compare that, that price on that day to the 20 month EMA. So if the price of the stock on the last trading day of the month is above that 20 month EMA, that's on a buy signal. And we either hold our existing uh, position um, and if it, if it crosses above, uh, the 20 month EMA, then, then you can initiate a new position. So we only look um, at that price on the last trading day of the month. We ignore all other trading days. So it literally only takes 10 minutes a month to <laughs> check the price trend when you're using a system. And you can instantly tell once you look at the uh, one month price in relation to the 20 month EMA, you can instantly tell uh, whether that stock is a, a buy or a sell. So a very simple system and it doesn't take much time to uh, implement it. 
So again, um, we get a buy signal if the one month price is above the 20 month EMA on the last trading day of the month. And we get a sell signal if the one month price is below the 20 month EMA on the last trading day of the month. And we just simply ignore all other trading days. So uh, as trend followers, we know that the price movement of a stock reflects all the known information about a company. So we simply follow that price movement. Um, is all the, uh, all the information uh, that's known about that company is reflected in the stock price. So we simply use the major trend system to follow that uh, stock price. And the uh, one month, 20 uh, month EMA indicators can be um, downloaded from uh, stockcharts.com. Uh, and you need um, the basic uh, subscription for that. I think that's $15 a month, uh, the last time I checked. Uh, so uh, you can easily you know, just bookmark this, these indicators and it only takes literally less than a minute just to see if, if a stock is on a buy or sell signal. So here, let's look at an actual uh, buy signal. This is for NYSource. This is the uh, gas utility uh, company. And this blue line right here is the 20 month exponential moving average right here. And <clears throat> this, this line here is the monthly um, price movement of NYSource stock. So uh, this price right here is the price of the stock on the last trading day in May. Uh, this price is the uh, price of the stock the last trading day in June, uh, July, August, et cetera. So we can see back in July that the price, the one month price of the of night source on that last trading day was below this 20 month uh, uh, exponential moving average. So we don't do anything if it's below that 20 month exponential moving average. But we can see the following month uh, in August, uh, the last trading day, the price of night source was above this 20 month EMA. So that indicated uh, that night source was uh, back on a buy signal and as long as the um, price remains above the 20 month EMA, then that stock is on a buy signal. So this is, this is an example of uh, a buy signal for uh, nice source. Um, and uh, you can, here's a, um, a shorter term uh, price trend. Uh, this is the uh, monthly price movement here, uh, these red and uh, black lines. These are the monthly price movement in nice source. Here's the 20 month EMA. So we can see back in 2009, um, it went on a buy signal. Uh, and that was, I uh, believe, yes, that was August, August of 2009. That went, this stock went on a buy signal right here at around uh, $4. And we can see that since then, um, the, um, uh, it, the total return for this stock since this buy signal has been 468 percent. So that's um, that's a pretty good return for a stock with low volatility. You can see uh, there were no uh, sell signals uh, since this buy signal. Uh, just a very steady price increase in the stock. You know, it goes from the lower left corner to the upper right corner <laughs> with low volatility. Um, and, uh, but at the same time, you're getting a great return. So our theory is why focus on high beta stocks, uh, growth stocks that you can easily get stopped out of when you can simply uh, follow the, the major trend for these uh, stocks that have low volatility and at the same time produce a good return. So that's a great looking chart. No reason to trade other risky stocks when you can get that kind of a return from such a low risk, uh, uh, you know, utility stock. So um, when we get a buy signal uh, 
for a stock, we can either buy the stock or we can buy uh, the call option on the stock. And let's look at an example of a uh, sell signal. This was for uh, American Express. And we can see um, this is the monthly uh, price movement of American Express, the black and red lines. And we can see in January of 2015, so this was over a year ago, we can see that the monthly price closed above the 20-month EMA, right around the, um, the uh, $77.5 area, somewhere in between here. So what that was saying at that time was that uh, American Express is in a price downtrend and it should be sold. So, uh, you know, if, you, if you're following the major trend, um, you, can, you can see you saved yourself from a lot of pain by just simply exiting when the major trend turned bearish, which was uh, the last trading day in January of 2015. And you can see where the stock's trading now, and, you know, that, was, that, that saved you a lot of pain, and uh, you, it allowed you to uh, take profits if you were long, and it allowed you to take profits way up here, instead of uh, writing this down. So this is an example of uh, a sell signal for the major trend system. So again, uh, when you use trend following, um, when you use a trend following system, uh, it allows you to make um, uh, informed decisions. Uh, you just simply follow the system, and then you don't have to uh, do any emotional decision making. So we, we'd much rather just follow the system uh, then try to guess where a market is going to go. So we've been using uh, trend following successfully for uh, 30 years. Okay, and we use the major trend system to identify what we call super stocks, and super stocks uh, have consistent and predictable price patterns. Uh, they've had a steady price increase over the past 20 years. Um, they have uh, low volatility, uh, they outperform the major stock market indexes, and they have a low number of sell signals. So um, we call these uh, super stocks, and we like to uh, trade these kind of stocks rather than uh, stocks that have erratic and uh, unpredictable price patterns, and you have no idea <laughs> what they're going to do next. So uh, we, we've done much better just simply um, – trading these kind of stocks, these low volatility stocks. Um, here's, a, here's a super stock example. This is for uh, Starbucks. And this is uh, a 10-year chart. And this blue line right here is, is the 20-month exponential moving average. The black and red line uh, is the one-month uh, price on the last trading day of the month. And we can see with Starbucks, uh, it went long back in uh, 2009, it looks like around June of 2009, um, and it's it's been on a buy signal ever since. And the 10-year uh, return, total return uh, for Starbucks is 283% versus a 10-year total return for the S&P 500 of 94%. So, and this includes the uh, dividends uh, for the uh, SPY. So. The total return on the S on the S and P index uh, was 94% over the last 10 years versus 283% uh, for Starbucks. So we like to trade these stocks that uh, way outperform uh, the major averages uh, with a lot less risk and volatility. So this is an example of a uh, super stock. Here's another one, um, TJX. We've been trading this for many many years, and it's had uh, it got a buy signal back here. It looks like around um, March of 2009, and it's been on a buy signal ever since. Um, this is the retail store, and you can see again, you know, way outperformed the S&P, the total return, and very low volatility, uh, very few sell signals. So, uh, with this with this kind of stock, you're, you're going to have a much higher probability of being successful and not getting stopped out of your position uh, like you would with a more volatile, uh, risky stock. 
here's another example. This is uh, Reynolds American. Um, again, it, it uh, went long in uh, uh, mid-2009. Uh, it's been on a buy signal ever since with a 239% uh, return. And here's another example. This is uh, extra storage. This is a real estate investment trust. And 10-year total return on this has been uh, 284% versus 94% for the S&P. So these are the kind of stocks that we like to um, trade. Here's one more, uh, Hormel Foods. Um, again, uh, very low volatility, uh, but a high, high rate of return. So these are examples of super stocks that, you know, that pay dividends and have very reliable price patterns. So, um, Super stocks have actually outperformed most growth stocks with a lot less volatility and risk. And there's no need to trade these high volatile stocks and incur a lot of risk when you can uh, trade uh, super stocks. Now, let's look at some charts of the types of stocks we like to avoid. Uh, this first one is uh, First Solar. You can see a lot of, lot of volatility. Uh, a lot of sell signals in here. Uh, and when you look at a chart like this, you just don't know where this stock is going next. So, you know, you want to avoid this kind of stock. Here's, here's a price chart for uh, Sotheby's. And again, a lot of volatility, a lot of sell signals, no clear, predictable uh, price patterns with these kind of stocks. So we just avoid these. This is actually the uh, uh, Chinese stock ETF. Uh, FXI, and uh, you, you can see if you try to trade this, you're really going to get chopped up. So no clear trend here, uh, very unpredictable uh, price pattern. Uh, here's another example. Uh, this is for Sony. And uh, this is Corning Glassworks here and uh, Caterpillar. So, yeah, there's no reason to trade stocks like this when you can try trade uh, super stocks with a lot less risk and uh, a lot less volatility and a much higher return.